Welcome to the Morgan Paw Print. I'm Alex Cummings. Welcome to the Morgan Paw Print. I'm Logan Cummings. And I'm Alex Cummings. And we're the Cummings brothers. On the topic of self-defense, we interviewed students asking them what they would do in a situation where they're being beat up in the hallway. And these are their stories. If someone did start hurting me, like, I'd have to hurt them back. Obviously, I have to punch them back because self-defense, you know, like, I'm not just going to let somebody just beat me up, like, while I'm just standing there. Well, first, I would grab their hand and just launch them across the room and just give them a good old slap and walk away. I honestly don't know how I would react. It would, it would probably come down to, like, instinct. Like, depending on the situation, depending on who it is, depending on who's around, I feel like instinct would probably take over. <laughs> Uppercut them, like, with, you know, like, the punch. Um, and I'll just like beat them up and get a suspension, but it's fine. It's like the golden rule. Treat others how you want to be treated. If you want to beat me up, I can beat you up. I would have to fight back and protect myself because you know I'm not, I'm not like easy going and like that. So if they fought me, I have to fight them back. If, if they started, if they started attacking me first, I I wouldn't let them do that. I had I'd have to hop in and you know crank some music and start fighting them too. Why? Because self defense. Exactly. Yeah. Hate crime. That's a lawsuit, baby. <laughs> but would you just take it? No! Would you fight back? Would I'd, you run? I'd try to get away and if not, fight back. I'd probably try and run away because I'm a wuss. I don't know. <laughs> and I'd probably tell someone, like tell a teacher. I would cry. Why? Why not? I would beat them up back. Why? Self-defense. If it was a girl, I'd pull her hair. Take all your clothes off because at that point you confuse them and they'll probably run away because if you're running after them butt naked, they, they won't know what to do. They, would, they wouldn't want to touch you. Depending on the person, I'd either try and fight them back, or I'd run away as fast as I could, or scream for a guy like Todd to come and help me. I would beat them up back because that's what my mom taught me to do. I, I'm going to fight back because I'm not, I don't know. It's kind of like a fight or flight reaction thing, and I feel like I just fight back. But I don't like how if, you be, if you're attacked and you, um, and you defend yourself, I don't like how you get in trouble for that because it's not your fault that you had to, like, you had to oh, take blame for uh, getting punched and defending yourself. I would fight back because mama ain't raised no B-word. I wouldn't really be too scared of the consequences because I don't really care about them. And uh, they deserve it. Um, I would probably turn around and beat the shit out of them because um, this happened to me in eighth grade. I got jumped and I did exactly what I just said. And I still got suspended, but I did win. I came out with a W. But I just don't think it's very fair how you could get suspended for something where you're just defending yourself. Like, even in the real world, if you're just defending yourself, you don't get a punishment for it. Like, if it's self-defense, you're not going to get punished. I'd probably fight them back because if they throw the first punch, I mean, for no reason, why not? If it were someone, like, it depends on who it is. So if it were someone that I, like often see getting into that kind of stuff I would probably just kind of leave it alone but if it were someone that like I wouldn't expect to be in that situation then I would definitely like get help and like tell someone and get it to stop. Well my dad always taught me that if somebody came at me with their fist I would come right back. Yeah my dad my dad said the same thing if someone throws the first punch I'm coming back swinging and no, though it'll be three hits them hitting me me hitting them back and them hitting the floor so that's i would probably uh cry if i'm being honest <laughs> i would be very nervous i would want to hurt them back but fighting is not the answer i would tell miss Agnes because she's my best friend and she knows how to solve all my problems so if someone came up to me and started beating me up i would probably it depends on what mood i'm in but like if i was angry i'd probably start like this is bad but i'd probably start like swearing back or whatever but i don't think i could ever hit back like, i'm not really a violent person but i'd probably try to calm down the person that's trying to attack me and i'd probably just be very calm and try to like like decipher the word <laughs> the situation <laughs> Yes, diffuse, diffuse. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not really sure. It would probably just be something totally random. It could, I could probably just freeze up and die on the floor, or maybe I'd run. I don't know. Um, I have no idea what I would do. <laughs> I mean, it depends on who's beating me up. I would scream Ayuda May as loud as possible so that anywhere in the school, Laura Luther could hear me and come save me. My okay, no, my my actual serious answer 
would probably be I don't know I'd probably try and like fight them off or like I'd scream for someone to come help and break it up because like I'm not good with confrontation first I would just be like don't fight me please but like if they kept doing it then I'd self-defend myself I'd be like I would probably fight them back because I have a lot of pent-up aggression <laughs> I'd probably uh, protect myself and fight back probably push them into a locker I would tell them to stop and then I would call my mom and run for shelter. I would beat them back up because mama didn't raise no Um, I'm a lover, not a fighter. That's how my mama raised me. I would probably fight back to a certain extent, but at the same time try and get out of the situation as best as possible. Because even if I do get picked on for trying to get out of that situation, because that's a social thing, it's getting out of that situation and being picked on is better than a suspension or getting someone hurt. I would first yell for help because I'm loud, so hopefully someone would hear me. And then if they started um, beating me up, I would maybe throw a couple punches. Um, you know, use some self-defense, like chow. Okay? That's what I'd do. Say it! I'd cry and call for Emma. <laughs> Probably either run, depends on how big they are. I would um, lay there in pain and let them get suspended because if I fought back, I would get suspended and mess up my future. I would fight back because uh, I don't want to get hurt. I would fake an injury so they get in trouble and I don't. Um, I would call the Dana Skidmore. Um, the reason why I would do that because my mom's the best person in the world. I would run away. Why? Um, because if the person was scary, I wouldn't want him to still beat me up. I kind, I find it kind of funny. I, I don't know. I, just, I wouldn't fight back. It's no point. I'd just let them get suspended and then just kind of laugh about it. Probably fight back. I don't know, protect myself because I wouldn't want to just get beat up randomly. I'd probably cry first. No, that's a lie. I would protect myself. Like, do this, protect my face, and then beat... Maybe beat them up after. Why? What? Because um, they hurt me. But they shouldn't be hurt, but they need to learn a lesson. So I've been beaten up um, outside of school. Um, I would probably, it'd be a cool, it would be a cool experience. I'd probably just be like getting my head bashed in. I would just be like, this is really happening. And then I'd probably try to punch back. Uh, I'd probably like once I got up, I'd probably start stomping him out out of anger. But uh, I think I'd just be unconscious and just take the beating like a champ. Beat them back, <laughs> fight back, because I don't want to get beat up. Defend myself. I don't know, like block until like I don't know, run away. I don't know. Because if you fight back, you could get in trouble too. Fight back, because I'm not gonna let someone beat me up. I'm not gonna give the same answer as the freshman did. But um, I would defend myself, but only to the point of like not beating them up completely, just to defend myself. This is what I would do. So come in for the swing, Ooh. grab him just like this, block the arm, he's occupied with the mic, because he's going to beat me up with a mic in his hand. Next thing you know, I'm going to come in and rock him, sock him. And maybe at that point, I might go for a little throw down there. And once you're down there, Bardowski's voice, it's game over. Yeah, you already know. Thank you. Thank you for that demonstration. Next, we ask teachers what they expect their students or children to do in this situation. A lot of them were reluctant to respond. They didn't want to give students the wrong idea or put themselves in danger of getting in trouble for sharing their opinion on the subject. So we don't have a lot of people in this part, but we got opinions nonetheless. Here they are. If like, one of your kids is getting beat up in the hallway, what would you expect them to do? Well, using my experience, it might be hard to believe, but getting to 47 years old, I have not gotten into physical altercation with somebody. I feel like there's chances when you're in that situation to walk away, um, not engage. Um, if you feel like the conversation's going a certain way, um, protecting yourself, covering up. I know that sounds hard, but um, fighting back does get school consequences. Hopefully prevent it, prevention would be the key. I would advise her to stop, drop, and roll. If a student is being beat up in the hallway, they should think about all the money they're going to win from a lawsuit. So self-defense obviously is something that's uh, case by case, so it's dependent on the situation, obviously. Uh, every human has the right to defend themselves if they think that they're going to be at, in risk of getting seriously injured or injured at all. So, but like I said, it's case by case. I wouldn't, there's no blanket answer to it, but you do have the right to defend yourself, in my opinion. And that's the T on self-defense.
That's all for this time, Morgan. Thank you for your time this time. Until next time, this is the Cummings Brothers signing off.